Hi guys, welcome to our Python class. Now I would like to tell you how to do your taking your practice in our Python online course. It's time when you log in. You get to use this way to log in. Chrome browser. Then in the Chrome browser, you do log in by your email. Then after you log in your email, you can use the Google Classroom to log in your class. Okay. So, oh, I have so many books, so many codes. And then you click this one. This is one that you have. So you click this one. When you get in, just click this. Class homework. In the class homework, you go down here. We do have right now, have five practice for you. So let's do the first one. Write a Python program to check. Check what? Check positive number and negative number. Uh, if you can see the whole words, you can click this one. Whole words is here. Question one. Write a program to check if a, per, a number is positive or negative or zero. So actually I do have the code for you. If you want to read the code, just click this one. This is the code. You can copy it. You can copy the code. This is the code. So after you copy the code, you can come in here. Um, using the Python ID, and post the code, then run it. After you run the program, the program will ask you input a, a number. This number will automatically change to float. So even though you type in 5, but the number will change to 5.0. And check if it is 0, 0, or it is positive number or negative number. If the number is be larger than 0, it will print out positive. If it equals 0, we will print 0. And else, it will print out negative number. So if you have your code down, you can just file, say set. Save as Q5, Q1, question 1. It says Q1, then save it. The Q1 will be saved onto the screen. I think this is Q1. And you can submit, submit your, your project. So going by this way, going by this way. Here. And you want to submit, submit, just click this one and say submit. Submit a file. Submit a file, just drop your file here. Drop your file here. Then submit. Okay, if you, that's fine, that's down. It means that, it means that you have assigned your, your job. If you want to answer something to the teacher, just say something teacher, say some words here.
We are sorry for the interface is in Chinese, but it doesn't matter because you know most of the questions and explanation, and also for the Python IDE all in English interface. If you have any question or problems, don't hesitate to write down your question here, or you can write your question on on the Q and A. There is a section that says Q and A here. Okay, I'll create a Q and A for you, so you can dip your question on number seven Q and A. Thanks for your participation and happy learning.